and I want you to emblaze this into your brain. You only have one chance to make a first impression. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Don't push me. Push her! Hey, Henry, again, as a white person, you're- oh. <laughs> Gonna be... <laughs> oh! 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 God! Come on, you're... Oh my God! Go! God! Come on, you're fucking insane. Whoa! God damn! <laughs> My head ain't hard enough, man. God! Come on, you're gonna give yourself a concussion. You gotta stop. Come on, Dan, I'm dropping you. What's that, Nicole? What's that? What do you think you'd be at, Bonnie? Alright, last time. No, God! No. One more fucking time. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more amazing, entertaining, delightful, great disciple content. Tell me where the freaks at. Hold up. Adam and Jessica Davis are suing Sam and Alexis Smith in the amount of $2,500. In bail money, they contend the defendants should pay because the charges are a result of the defendants' actions. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Christina Perez presiding. All parties have been sworn in, Your Honor. Thank you, Renard. You may be seated. So, Mr. Davis. I see you had to spend $2,500 to bail out your daughter from jail? Yes, Your Honor. What a disappointment. Tell me what happened. At about 3 o'clock in the morning, we get a phone call from the police department telling us to come and bail our daughter out of jail. And it's all because his daughter planted drugs on my daughter. Really? Yes. Okay, so tell me about your daughter first. Tell me about Jessica before we talk to Alexis. What's Jessica like? Our daughter has her head on her shoulders very good. She makes good grades. She's on the volleyball team, you know. Honor roll? Honor roll student. Ever been in trouble? Never been in trouble. Alexis, what about you? No, ma'am. Never in trouble, ever. Never in trouble. Mr. Smith, is she also on the volleyball team? Yep. Tell me about she's her in that, school. They're best friends. They're on the volleyball oh, team. They're straight best A friends. students, and she's got a scholarship to uh, college. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So you guys are best friends, really? Yeah, we were best friends. Oh, you were we best were. friends? We were. Why were? Why is it the work? Well, I had to spend night in jail because she snuck drugs into my pocket without she me knowing. Did, Your Honor, I did not sneak them into her pocket. Well, I didn't huh. know they were there. Okay, so why don't you explain to me what pocket. happened? Go ahead and explain to me what happened. Okay. On our graduation night, Jessica and I had discussed we wanted to make the night a little bit more memorable. Jessica decides she wants to get drugs. So she purchased drugs from a stranger at the park and she ended up taking the pills. I didn't want to, and she snuck them in my pocket. Did you have any idea that her crazy thing to do on graduation night was to buy drugs? I mean, I would never suspect that she would take drugs, so no. Because you guys remember you said that you guys were talking about you guys were gonna do something crazy together. Yeah. Did drugs ever come up? I mean, she kind of said, well, what if we take a drug just or what if we get it, high? But she, she never said, she well, let's never take ecstasy. No, admit it. She would never do yes, drugs. She One second. And you are? Why don't you sit up? Because I don't like people talking from the bench over there. Sit I'm, down. Okay. I'm uh, Maria Davis, Your Honor. And I'm you her are? mother. And you're her mother. Okay. And yes. you're saying that she would never do drugs. She would never do, do drugs. Okay. So let's go back to grad night. Alexis decides to buy the drugs. She purchases them from a, tr from a stranger. And we go into the park, start having fun. Mm -hmm. A cop starts to follow us around, an undercover cop. 
He, so he first pats her down because he suspects that we're under the influence or one of us is. So he pats us both down. He suspects down. that we are under the influence? Well, he suspects that one of us. We're both walking around together. So he, you know, he just wants to check both of us, I guess. Mm -hmm. So he checks her and I get really scared because I, I know she's about to go to jail because I, I know she took two pills. Okay. Got it. Got it. I didn't. Okay. So he pats her down and she's all good. So I was like, okay, I'm fine. You know, we didn't get caught, you know. But then he pats me down and he finds ecstasy in my pocket and I'm just like confused. I didn't take any pills. Why am I getting handcuffed? You know? Hmm. It, and what happened then? Why don't you tell me, Alexis, what happened uh, that night? Your Honor, she's refusing to admit her part of this and she did have a part. Yes, I admit I took two pills and she didn't take any. But we both together talked about this. When did, when did you tell your dad that you did this? Stupid, stupid, stupid thing. <laughs> yes, it was stupid. Yes. Um, what did I you think do? When did you ground her? What did you do? Oh, oh, she's, in, oh, oh she's in bad shape. Oh, she's in prison. My <laughs> patted her on the wrist. Yeah. I might as well. He gave her a pat on the wrist. Pat her on the hand. Hello, and our daughter Ashley spit. Stop on the hand. You don't even prison. know what you're talking about. She could go out and do anything. I don't have a car. I don't have a phone. You don't have a record now. Everything exactly. is out of my she room except my bed. Into He's prison. all up in she my business. I she can't believe this, Miss Davis. She didn't go to prison. She enough, went... please, come on. She didn't. She, she, she's a juvenile. She's not going to go <laughs> to prison, state prison. Please, don't be, don't exaggerate. Head coming up. We were going in. So let's get back to that day, and I only want to talk to the girls. What really happened? You decide to get ecstasy. Yes, and we went like halvesies on it. She gave me a hundred dollars, and I put in a hundred dollars. And is that we... true, Jessica? I did not. You are, you know when Renard swore you in today? Yes. You promised to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, right. Right? Right. So, did you give her half of the money to buy ecstasy? No. I didn't you give her You were under all. I did not give her did. money. She, she just ecstasy. gave her money to hold. You're she didn't lying. specify what she was going to do with it. Give somebody to hold money. They can hold okay, the money themselves. That, that night, Come I on. didn't have my purse. Okay, here's Let's do that. Hold she holds my purse. You were just whatever. giving me it. Whatever. Whatever. Don't want ever her, please. Why don't, sure. why, don't, why don't you guys move aside? The parents move aside for a second. Why don't you move? I just want to talk to the two girls. You know, Jessica, being responsible in life is about being smart. Being smart in life is about being responsible and being honest and admitting your mistakes. You have two parents who are here fighting for you, tooth and nail, a beautiful mother, a beautiful father who believe in you and trust you. And as a girl, as a woman, I remember violating my parents' trust. I will never forget that. Never forget that. But I remember that it made me stronger. And it's something that I'll never forget. So I'm giving you one more chance to tell me the truth. Did you give your friend Alexis $100 to buy ecstasy? No, I did it. OK. I don't know what to say, Your Honor. I, she's blatantly lying to you. I, and it's her word against mine. I'm sorry. I, I am admitting fault. I did a stupid thing. Yes, I took the pills. She did not take the pills. But what I thought was a joint effort, we were going in on it together. It turned out not to be. But I took the pills. I gave them to her. I put them in her pocket. Did she I, know you put them in the pocket? No. I thought she did because no, I took mine. And the I rest did. of the plan was for no, you to you take yours. No. I didn't hey, mean parents. Parents, please, please, parents, go stand next to them again. Your Honor, I didn't quiet. mean for her to get in trouble. I didn't. I obviously what did you mean I didn't for mean for putting it in there happen. without me knowing. What did you mean then? Because you wanted her to get in trouble. Of course oh, not. On. Of course not. So they're and both together. So they're both together. They're both doing drugs, or she does drugs, and she wants her to get caught. That that's that's smart. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what, I'll say it. I was high. I said it. You know, why would I want to then get caught? You know, like, I, I didn't mean ever to plant anything on anybody. Judge Perez's verdict. Is that I don't think, Jessica, you're being 100% honest. Because I think that you yourself, you actually, you in agreement to do this. Whether you admit it or not, you want to do something wild and crazy. This is your friend that you've known for eight, longer, eight, ten years. And here's the thing, here's the thing, if I'm going to be very simple with this. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. I have an arrest record that says that she had 
this illegal substance on her. I have nothing else to refute. I have nothing else to show that this has changed. So I have to go on this. I'm denying your claim. Thank you. All right. We're here over chain. Yes. You want your chain back. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Ravello does not want you to have the chain back. Correct. He gave you the chain. Yes, sir. All right. You're saying, why am I giving you back something that you gave me as a gift? Exactly. Okay. What's the deal? The deal is, um, Your Honor, this chain is a highly sentimental chain, and I gave him a lot of amount of time that he could have it. If it's so sentimental, why did you give it to him in the first place? I gave it to him because he suffered from an accident some years ago. Because there was some sort of something with football. You guys play football yes. together, right, sir? Yes. You guys um, are ball players. Yes, sir. Yes. And what happened? Uh, we we uh, went to the beach, and uh, we were just playing around um, like usual. Um, and uh, he tackled me, and uh, in the midst of the tackle, I sprained my knee. During football season? No, no, no. Well, no. Yeah, it was shortly was... before football season, right. Your Honor. And you, were, you weren't able to play? Right. Okay. Where does the chain fall into that? The chain falls into that because at the time I felt enormously bad about it. You know, um, I really, really... Were you looking really... to play football in college? Definitely. Definitely. I was, I was being scouted um, and that was my junior year that, that we were... So that's one of the most important years. That's a big years. year. Definitely. And so, um, I, fortunately, I haven't heard from anybody in months. You gave him a chain of value because you felt bad. Yes. That you not only prevented him from playing and helping the team, but potentially destroying future prospects for him to play in college. Yes, I That's felt... That's a big deal. Yes. Okay. What's been the relationship between the two of you before that happened? He and I were best friends. Uh, we met back in seventh grade. Um, we didn't really become friends until freshman year when we uh, were w wide receivers for the same football team. Okay. And you all met, became bonded through football mm -hmm. so now you boys you're hanging out mm -hmm. and then what happened um well on the way home he drove me home from the beach mm -hmm. and um i don't know he he just kind of really started going into panic mode and he was uh i mean he was begging me you know not to let my parents know that it was that it was him that tackled me so it was um so it was a tough decision to make but i did go home and uh, I told my parents that they that it was me, that it was that I was that he was. You nowhere. caused your own injury. Exactly. So and I take uh, it you had to have you incurred medical expenses. A, a lot of them, sir. And your parents had to pay for it. Right. And the whole time you didn't let them know that really he should have been paying for. They're those aware work. now, but um, but not. And how well, did not they before. feel when they found out? That um, they they were, yeah, they were yeah, pretty angry. Yeah, because I would have been like, are you? <laughs> yeah, it would have been a problem. Right. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. It would have been a problem, and that is where the chain comes in. The chain comes in because I was feeling guilty about it. And that's uh, why you gave it to him, because you felt bad and you said, I'm gonna give you something that's yeah, about Yeah, for you. the duration of his recovery. Because it's a good luck charm. Um, it was my brother's before mine, and it was his good luck charm. Well, and when he recovered, did he give it back to you? No. Did you ask did for not. it? Yes, I did, sir. Well, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm still in physical therapy. You're not 100%. Um, Right, no, definitely not. All right, he shows the value the of this chain is $300. Yes. And you feel you should not have to give it back to him because? Um, well, definitely, uh, first of all, you know, because he, he didn't, it, you know, he didn't tell me that he wanted it back. Yes, he gave it to me and um, he said, he, his words were, get well, bro. Uh, like, like he said, he came in there, he was, it was like the world had ended. He felt, you know, like he was really feeling bad about it, guilty. I told him that it was my lucky chain, and I wanted to wish him luck as far as recovery goes, and that he could have it for the duration of the time it took for him to recover. All right. Your Honor, this, this I, I feel, since he has returned to the field since, that... Time to get he, the chain back. Yes. Okay. And, and this chain just recently came back into the picture about... Four months ago, when after some, you know, a situation with our friendship his, recently has really dissolved because, and, um, yeah, his, um, his, his, one of my closest friends, um, McKenna, um, she, uh, she and and Drew were dating, and okay. um, because of you know of Drew, some of the decisions that Drew chose to make, um, they were they. You they, all fell out over McKenna. No, no, no. no. Here's what happened. First. 
He started making moves on my 14-year-old cousin, Lizzie. Coming up. And so what's the story with McKenna? Essentially, I told him Sunday of that week to back off from my cousin. Okay. And you and, went and saw her anyway? And I, 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 that was my first, did, you know. Did you go see her anyway? I mean, did you engage no, 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 her? No, 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 no. No, no, because I, I, I kind of started to think that, you know, once he I kept started, on I started seeing her, her going to freshman. Age, I started okay. seeing her going to freshman classes or younger classes, underclassmen classes. So I started to have an inkling. So when he told me, I was just a lot, I was shocked. You know, okay. it, it was my first time it being confirmed that she was younger. significantly younger than me. It's, and yeah. 14, you're 17. Okay, right. it's, it's not the end of the world. I get right, it. Right, right. I mean, you know, but I, it was a problem with me. Essentially. And so, and so, and so I, I stepped away. I stepped away. Only thing is that, um, you know, me and McKenna were friends. You're, is this McKenna? This is McKenna. Here, oh, I'm, oh yes. McKenna, come on up. I, I knew you had a witness. Yes, sir. All uh -huh. right. And why is she on this side of the table? I'm here, Your Honor. She's my ex. Because I agree with Brandon that the chain should stay with him. There were rumors going around our school that Drew had been seeing a girl from a rival soccer team. It's a purely platonic friend from summer school. They I wasn't kissed, seeing her. Your Honor. Kissed on the forehead. Oh my God. It's still a kiss. Um, there were rumors that they had been seeing each other, so I sat down to talk to Brandon about it to ask him because they're on the football team, so I thought he might know more. And he actually showed me a picture of this kiss. Why would you do that? When I got wind of what happened with the other girl, I tried to approach Drew about it. And he, you know, You're he... not answering my question. Why did he do that, do you think? I think he did that out of spite because I told him to stop seeing my cousin. And that makes sense. Because it was the Wednesday after that Sunday that that happened. Is that well, true? No, sir. No, sir. I, that like I said, from it, the time that he said, I, stop trying to hook up with my 14 year old cousin. When did you tell McKenna about this other girl that played soccer? Was it um, a day, two days, a week, 30 days? It, it was, it was, it was maybe, you know, a week, but, um, but that, I, stop. Right. That's why you did it. You were mad that he said, I don't want you messing with my cousin. Did he tell you that he was interested in his 14 year old cousin? I knew about it. Yes. And what was your feeling about it? It didn't bother me as much as it bothered Drew. Okay. So Drew was bothered by it. Yes. And he said, leave my cousin alone. Yes. And were you trying to have communication with the cousin? No. Was he trying to have communication with the cousin? Yes, he was. Wow. No, no, sir. Okay. No, sir. All right. I saw the text. So you I'm tell, 18 now. It's so, a, it's you, a, so you're like, okay, fine. I'll show you. I'll tell your girlfriend what you're really up to. No, she asked me. I, I, was, I, I didn't go to her to with know. it. You, didn't, you could have said my name's Bennett. I ain't in it. <laughs> right. But that would have been a lie, sir. No, it's... I don't want to be a part of this. That is your boyfriend. I'm friends with you. You have a conversation with him. I don't want to be in the middle of things. I'm your friend. I'm his friend. The timing is suspect on your part. Yeah, definitely. Did you break up with him as a result? I did. It was very important to me for us to save the physical side of our relationship for later. And he violated that trust. He violated the trust of the physical. Well, he wanted to be physical with you. Yes. And you said, no, I'm not ready. I said no. And so he went elsewhere. Is that true? I was very understanding to her not wanting to be physical. There were one or two instances where I did try, but I was very understanding. It, the thing with the platonic friend is purely platonic, Your Honor. It's, she and I to this day are still just platonic friends. It's and still that's humiliating. All it'll There's pictures going around school of him kissing another girl. Okay. Anything else? Yes, uh, Your Honor, the reason why I want the sentimental item back is because I do feel like my best friend betrayed me, and I don't feel comfortable with having such a sentimental item being in the possession of somebody that betrayed me. Got it. You have proof that it's worth $300? Yes, I have proof right here. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Anything else, Mr. Ravello? Uh, sir, <laughs> I've had a, uh, um, a, a crazy year. You know, and Drew has played a lot into that, you know, with with, with, my, with my football career. With I get it. You know, with everything. I get it. And he... I get it. All right. He's coming McKenna, to me about a chain. Anything else? Yes. I just think it's worth mentioning that I noticed when Drew stopped wearing the chain, and I asked him about it, and he told me that he had given it to Brandon. Got it. And throughout this whole ordeal, he never said anything to me about wanting it back until after we broke up. And that's when he told me that he was going to do whatever it took to get the chain back. I get it. The gavel's going to come down in favor of the defendant. 
because McKenna just said, Ms. Brooks, this chain became an issue after he told her about what was going on with the other girl. And you just even said, after being portrayed like that, I was done with him. And that suggests that you were okay with him keeping the chain because you felt guilty for causing him injury. But then when he betrayed you, you were like, there's no way I'm gonna let him keep that chain. Your matter's dismissed. Case closed.